Door-to-door -door visits by health agents are returning in full force in Rio de Janeiro and across Brazil, as dengue cases are on the rise. After an interruption due to COVID-19, the agents are back, checking any water-filled containers where the mosquito that transmits dengue might lay eggs. April is the month when dengue transmission is at its peak. It is precisely now that we have to intensify the awareness and prevention campaigns and to try to identify possible sites to avoid the spread of dengue at this time when we are having a respite from the COVID-19 pressure. Public health clinics are also ready to treat patients with dengue. According to Brazil's health ministry, cases were up 85% by early April this year compared to last year. Nearly 324,000 probable cases of dengue in all identified. People need to be aware that if they feel fever, headache or pain in the body, they can go to any public clinic where health professionals can distinguish if it is dengue or COVID. In March, health officials were already warning the population about the importance of combating the Aedes aegypti mosquito, which transmits chikungunya and Zika in addition to dengue. One of the main causes of this year's dengue outbreak in Brazil, experts say, has been more frequent and heavy rainfall, which creates the perfect breeding ground for the mosquito. This is clean and stagnant water. To date, there is no specific treatment for dengue. And while the coronavirus pandemic hasn't ended, health experts say the best way to avoid either disease is by prevention. I already caught dengue and the work of health agents is very important, despite the fear of opening our doors to strangers. Lucrecia Franco, CGTN, Rio de Janeiro.